Good morning, it is Vlogmas Day 11 and I hope you're all well. It's another early start for me here. I like getting up early when I can manage it because you get so much more done in the day but um, not always possible is it? So today, um, day 11, British Breeze Advent, ooh, a dark black. That looks like it's a natural colour. Let me see what this is. This is Black Welsh Mountain DK from Armscott Manor, Portland Wool in Warwickshire. They originally come from the Welsh Mountains. I don't know what it was about the name that gave that away. And um, they're small, hardy, and have a thick fleece. Um, let's have a look at what they are. So black. What's it called? Black Welsh Mountain. Oh, look at that. They do look pretty mean. Like they can handle themselves in the Welsh mountains. Beautiful. So that is going to be added to the Woolly Paper Chain Parte. It's going very well. Look, it feels proper festive now. It's gorgeous. I love it. And today, from my friend's advent, I'm opening a Zoe package. Been getting very excited about cranking all of these into socks. So I think what I'm going to do over the weekend is I won't crank them, but I'll probably put them on the winder, even if they've been nicely wound into little balls. Oh, look, this has got little bits of sparkle in it too, and it's blues and Kind of reminds me of a swimming pool and um, those lovely colours, pool towels. And some quality streets, quality. Um, lovely, thank you Zoe. So yeah, this weekend I'm probably going to wind them into, into little cakes, even though they'd be nicely wound because, as I mentioned, my circular sock machine is a bit of a sensitive soul. So, and then I also at the same time want to split them into two so that I can have two matching Frankenstein socks which is I don't think the point of scrappy socks to have them like super perfect matching but I've been thinking about it and that's what I want to do yarn and yarn vlog today and um because it's kind of a yarn and yarn day there are a couple of things I wanted to talk about yesterday I had a lovely post from Ange from yarn and yarn she did a she set up a mystery sock club so you can sign up and get not only a sock yarn um but some other little goodies she's put in as well and you get it a bit cheaper than the normal retail price for the fact that you're kind of taking a gamble on on what it is and the first one arrived yesterday the second one is ready for pre-orders in her shop so you can um, check that out so if you have ordered if you were lucky enough to get one of those first places on the mystery club then look away now because i am going to reveal what was in it and i love angie's packaging because it all comes in this beautiful um orange angela loves orange um beautiful orange crepe paper are you ready look at this purpley and blues and rusty bits and this is Aracania Quasco Sock and it is super washable and polyamide but how beautiful is that and she said she sent a beautiful little card look with a kingfisher on it and she says that um, as soon as she saw the yarn in person she thought of Cadbury purple purple um, and lo and behold it is exactly the same color as the dairy milk there was a dairy milk in here and the Ange sent but that is long gone. And she sent some other purpley bits as well, some tea, elderberry and echinacea, very good for um, fighting away body colds, and a little candle as well, which is apparently la white lavender, which is lovely. So um, really fun. It's always fun to get something and you don't quite know what it's going to be, but you know it's going to be good, whatever it is. So... Um, that's just beautiful and obviously and as Ange keeps on reminding us 
sock yarn doesn't necessarily need to be used for socks. It can be used to make shawls or mittens or anything you want, really. Um, so I don't know what, I might make a shawl out of this one. The colours are so beautiful. Um, I feel like if it was on my feet, people might not see it. Although I do have a habit of whipping out my socks and showing them to people, whether they want to or not. Um, the other thing I wanted to share today was just to talk briefly about my Charlie Button British Breeds box. Um, a couple of you have mentioned how much you're enjoying learning about the different breeds that are going on and one of the reasons um, I started Charlie Button Yarns was to try and get some of those lesser known breeds into the hands of knitters. Um, now obviously not all not all sheep's wool is going to be super soft and it might not be to everybody's taste but um i put together a british breed british breed box oh, i could have chosen something that was easier to say um and these are in stock with Andrew yarn and yarn and in the box you get four can you see that no you get four of these little nuggets of British Breed yarns. Now there are a couple we've already spoken about. So this is the Texel DK and there are two options on the boxes. And the first is a DK British Breed box and this is the DK version. So this is the Texel DK, um, natural undyed as, as it is, um, which makes a lovely kind of contrast. The other one that I briefly mentioned yesterday um, is the Manx Lochten. So this is a DK and it's this beautiful nutty brown um, and they, it, well, it's just, it's very lovely and it's very, very soft. So that's one of the um, uh, primitive style sheep that we have in the UK that was uh, from the Isle of Man, which is a small island off the northwest of England. What we've not spoken about um, at all is the Ryland. So the Ryland is this funny, fluffy teddy bear of a sheep, which is just gorgeous. And I've got some, I don't have them, my neighbours have some in a field um, next door. And they are just full of character and um, really gorgeous. I'm going to try and put in photos of them as we go along. And that creates a kind of fluffy, tweedy, grey um colour which is just I love and very soft they're kind of fluffy like teddy bears and the fourth one you get in the DK British Breeds box is Hebridean which is this almost black but it's charcoaly very very dark charcoaly brown and what I love about all of these is that you get such variety of colour None of these are dyed, they're all natural wool colour and they work really well together. Um, so you can either use them for individual projects or put them together into one bigger project um, because they all complement each other really well. So that's the DK British breed box. And the other option you can get, which is a slightly cheaper option, is a mystery box. So altogether you will get 150 grams of yarn, but it might be DK, it might be four ply, it might be some of those breeds, it might be other breeds as well. So um, it's a really nice way to kind of have a little dip into different sheep breeds. Oh. Uh, the hand dyed stuff is Merino, which is all imported. So this is, I think, a, a really lovely way to try local British breeds. <laughs> I'm trying to see and hold it up somewhere, I think. Um, try local British breeds and um, that are, they're really fascinating and they're really lovely. I'll show you a picture of the Hebridean. There we go, there's the Hebridean. He looks about as mean as the Black Welsh Mountain. Um, again, another type of, of primitive breed. Um, from the UK, which means they've been here for a really long time. Um, and when you buy either of the boxes, either the mystery one or the DK one, you get an information sheet as well that tells you about a bit about the breeds, a bit about their history and um, where they've come from and, and what they're like. So 
Um, if you have been enjoying um, learning more about British breeds, and um, you can go and check them out on Ange's shop. Yarnandyarn.com. Um, it says in the listing that um, they are. It takes a couple of weeks to put them, them together. That's just me being very, very um, risk averse. And actually has a couple that are in stock and ready to ship now, so you don't need to worry about that. Anyway, um, whatever it is, I will endeavour to get them to you um, via Ange as soon as possible. So if you're interested, check out yarnandyarns.com and um, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining and um, I will see you tomorrow. I think I said that. <coughs> Bye!